I'm Condoleezza Rice, the 66th Secretary of State of the United States of America. The first time that I visited the UAE was actually as National Security Advisor with President Bush. And I was just struck by the extraordinary modernity of the UAE, the incredible skyscrapers, and yet the preservation of so many historical and cultural monuments. It was really an eye-opener, in many ways very different than a lot of places that we had visited in the Middle East. After September 11th, it became really important to have good friends and good partners uh, to fight the scourge of terrorism that we had experienced on our own soil, but recognizing that others had been experiencing for a long time. The UAE uh, was a place where we could uh, trust our intelligence sharing and cooperation, uh, our military cooperation, and it was a place too that had, like the United States, a lot to lose from terrorism, uh, populations uh, that were that needed to be protected, uh, business infrastructure that needed to be protected, and so we found a lot in the way of common interest uh, with the UAE uh, in that period. In 2006, when we had the DP World uh, issue, when our Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States, uh, we thought, had made a decision that this was just an economic and business decision. We completely trusted uh, the security arrangements, the management to structures uh, around DP World, which was a highly regarded international port. And it was just a management contract. And so frankly, we were a little caught off guard when it became such an issue in our Congress and in our public debate about whether there were security risks we were glad that uh, it didn't damage the relationship permanently because Sheikh Abdullah, the foreign minister, and I talked and we were able to just remember who we were. Really good partners together in so much, the UAE and the United States. It was just a testament to how friends can go through rocky times and disagree and come out just fine on the other end. Just a couple of years later, we would get together and sign a 1-2-3 agreement on nuclear sharing for peaceful purposes, which I think was considered the gold standard and probably still is. And that effort of cooperation has been built upon by multiple administrations going forward. So uh, calling the UAE the partner that uh, it was, uh, was for me just a statement of fact. I look forward to uh, many more years of the UAE as a stalwart for peace, prosperity, and security for the world.